Hello, welcome back to the ministry, and today we are talking about get ready, y'all, because it's a marriage word, but it might not be a easy one. How many have been self-centered about your marriage promise. Starting to hear people starting to click out. Push your chairs back and trying to figure out your first escape door. Which way can I go to get out of this? I don't talk about this. What you mean, self centered? Hmm. A lot of you been sitting there wondering, what's taking so long? It's been taking too long. Why is it taking so long? This is taking so long. This is too much. I only been going through this for like a year, but I, you know what? He's taking too long. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to wait. It's been a year. Why is it taking him so long? You can't find me yet. What's up? I know I'm worthy of being found. It's taking too long. It's only been a year. It's been two years. God, this is too long. What you mean it's taking this long? Oh, look, it's five years. Oh, man. What, I mean, this has been five years. Why is it five years? Oh, my God. What's this? I should be doing this by now and this by now. Why am I still in this situation? Well, he obviously out here doing what he want to do because he want to do what he want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. I mean, that dude look good. Hearing that Missy Elliott song. That dude that approached me at the bar the other night. He might be that Mr. Right. <laughs> Hot enough to melt some ice. That dude. <laughs> I mean, he's taking too long, so. <laughs> I mean, I got needs. <laughs> You see those videos, and I bet half of y'all don't even click on them that the people be saying, he's going through something. He's dealing with some things. He's processing. Some of y'all, if you could talk to your spouse, the man would probably tell you, I've been dealing with things on my end. I'm going through some things. I'm experiencing some issues over here. Because I am, I can't come to you right now. And this is the self-centered part. So when you come pick me up, though. <laughs> What's taking you so long, though? What's, what's the issue? I mean... Some of y'all, that's your prayer to God. God, what's taking him so long? What's the issue? He mean, I mean, I've been staying here. I've been praying. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been. I need you to rewind. I need you to rewind. What'd you just say? I've been. I, 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 I. Standing outside with my mouth open wide saying, I, 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 I. I've been. <laughs> ah. Hold up. You telling me a selfish person is a person that will put themselves if it meant it was better for them.
if it serves you better than it serves your spouse. But I'm in this kingdom marriage thing because it's kingdom marriage. And I mean, some of y'all wouldn't get up in the middle of the night to pray and God tapped you on the shoulder and said that man needs you to pray right now. Prophetic Poetry did a word recently and she said in it that the God of Day spouse was wearing a helmet but there was a bullet in it. And she was more concerned with her own issue. In it she said she had a wedgie and then she went outside with one of her girlfriends to go get her makeup done. Some of y'all are so concerned with other things. I gotta look good. I gotta be right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Of course, Esther, Esther had to have her beauty treatments. I gotta have my beauty treatments. Do you have to have beauty treatments or are you operating in the spirit of vanity? Because that's, yeah, that's important right now. Not praying for the salvation of this man who's what? I'm going through something right now. And you over here sitting there bitch talking about, I can't wait. I mean, he taking too long. What's taking so long? Oh, wait. what I say? Selfishness is the fact that you will do something to please self. If it means that it helps you. Let me make it a little bit clear. If it means that it helps your flesh. Oh, I don't hear you. I didn't I didn't hear what you had to say. What did you say? <laughs> I didn't hear what you had to say. We what? Hold up. Huh? Huh? God already done told you who your husband is. But that dude standing at the coffee bar look real nice right now. He still ain't showing up and it's been six years. <laughs> I know you told me, but you sure he's staying? I mean, he looks better. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. It's more important for me to get my man. Where he at? He got the money I need. <laughs> if I'm supposed to be his wife, he should be taking care of me. Why am I still waiting? Dude over there got a car. He got a band. <laughs> He got the money. I'm going to actually tell you a story. Person who shall remain nameless for their own personal. Yes. Uh, was telling the story of the fact that. They were dealing with a guy. That would take money from them. Take it to other women and pay their mortgage, house bill, car bill, car note, buy them cars, do all this, but lie to the other person, siphon all this money away from them, thousands upon thousands of dollars. And these men were going around in groups doing it. So they looked like they were the dudes. But they were stealing from women that just wanted company. Let me tell you another story. There was a guy that actually had the ability to know how to game women. He studied them, figured out what they wanted, and then would game them in order to get them in to relationship. I 
Sound a lot like that movie Hitch, right? But remember, Hitch did it because he was actually trying to help people. But remember that dude that Hitch hated so bad that came to him for advice to get a girl and he only did it so that he could sleep with her? Some of y'all are so impatient, and I'm going to say it, take it as you want to take it. Some of you are so self-centered. A <laughs> little bit self-righteous there, too. Operating in control. <laughs> Pride. You want this man so he can come and do all these things for you. That's why you're looking at that other dude. Because you think that other dude can do better than this guy that's coming. The guy that's coming is actually preparing a place for you. But that dude at the bar, that dude getting his coffee, that dude over there. That dude walking his dog. Them dudes. They look like your flavor. Go back and watch The Warning of Temptation. They all look like your flavor. All of them. But they are only sent to defile and destroy you. But hey, you operate in a level of self-centeredness, a little bit selfish. Yeah, I'm going to jump off this train to my spouse that's almost to the station. Because that dude standing in the station yard with his shirt off doing work on the track look way better. What is it to be selfish? Do what's necessary for self to leave somebody else hanging. Some of y'all done prayed for this man, done did all this stuff for this man, but he done took too long and wasn't in the time frame in which you thought. Do that. Do that if you want to. Do, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. <laughs> Because there is a woman that's going to take all them prayers you done prayed into this man's life. All the work, all the tears you done cried. All of them. You sit up and slip up now if you don't desire to wait, to not wait and want to. There's a woman that is waiting. <laughs> there is a woman. Let me repeat that. There's a woman that is waiting. Remember in the scripture that uh, the Lord said there's seven, 700 or 7,000 prophets that have not bent their knee to bail. Besides you, Elijah. How many people are really out here in the, really out here? I'm talking about the ones really out here. Those of us that have been sitting, praying, understand it. There are some that have have had the intent, meaning they've been out here sitting there praying and crying and all this type of stuff over a husband. Some of them don't even know who their husband is. And sometimes I believe the Lord allowed it to be that way for some of y'all that's sitting up here who know who it is and you acting a fool because it's taking so long. There's one of them that was uh, praying just as hard as you was. You know who it is. And you out here acting a fool because you know. <laughs> and there's one over there that was praying just as hard as you was praying. You thought you was the only one? This person out here don't even know. Don't know who that guy is. Don't know who that person is. But you over here being self-centered.
you want to make the pie and eat it. And you want to have your pie and eat it too. <laughs> you want to go take some time. I'm going to go have dinner with the dude. I mean, it's night. I mean, he ain't here yet, so I can at least go and have dinner with him. I mean, this guy is here. It's not like I'm going to do anything. There is a young woman who tells her story beautifully. Can I tell her name this time since I actually remember it? Go look at Morgan Tracy J's story as she told about what happened when she slipped. She was walking on this kingdom spouse journey too. She's been standing for a man too. For kingdom marriage too. And she fell off. She slipped up. She got caught in it. Can I entertain him? I mean, he, he do look like my flame. He do have that. He got. I mean, he ain't here yet. Let's go back to that first statement. Spouse call you. I'm going through something. Y'all don't want to read those words. Y'all don't want to hear those words. They're going through something. They experience. You're supposed to be one that's praying them through the stuff that they're going to through. But you're too busy over here with your eyes like, oh, look at that dude. He's looking real nice over there. <laughs> that's exactly what the enemy wanted. He wanted you to focus on that dude. Entertain that dude. Mm -hmm. Slip up with that dude. With that dude. Meanwhile, your husband's uncovered. Can I say that? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this much. I I had a dream, and I'm only gonna tell this part of it. My kingdom spouse was wearing something, but his chest was exposed. Some of y'all are leaving your God of Dane spouse wide open to direct hits. I didn't mention this in the previous video. I'm going to mention it right here. I was talking about the fact that when you take a head off of a body, the whole body no longer can operate but if you hit a person in the heart you ever hear about people that have um, been running after being shot they actually can run for a distance as long as the adrenaline is still pumping in their body they can run for an amount of time until the adrenaline stops. It's the same thing when you see a people when you see people talk about when a chicken with a head cut off. That same adrenaline is the only thing that's keeping that body moving. That body is literally dying. A person can be running. Shot in the heart. They are literally dying. You, you remember the story of Selena? Remember the fact that she got shot in the back, I believe. She was able to run from the room she was in all the way to the front lobby door, I believe it was. And that's where she died. Because the adrenaline in her kept her alive that long. There are people that have been stabbed. I actually knew a young woman. She was stabbed over 90 times in her body. She survived. 
She survived and told us the story. Some of y'all, your prayers have been covering the exposed part of your spouse. But y'all got tired. That dude over there looked a little bit more present. He's over there. But I'm going through something. They're running full speed to get to you. Adrenaline is keeping them get running to you. They're bleeding out. It's your prayers that's keeping them from dying. They got a heart wound that's bleeding out. And your prayers is the only thing that's healing that heart wound. But you want to be self-centered. That person look a little bit better right now because they're actually present. My flesh feels a little bit better about that person because I can see them. He still ain't here yet. It's been eight years. God, why you still got me waiting? I'm going through some things though, but when you coming to get me? <laughs> and some of y'all, y'all excuses. I'm your help, so if you came to get me. <laughs> Self-centered. Self-centered. <laughs> and some of you tell the truth and shame the devil. The one reason you want your spouse to show up is because you want him to take care of all your needs. But you wouldn't be able to do the same. There's a reel that was on Instagram of a woman telling the story of the fact that she had gotten into, I don't know whether she was married or she had gotten into a relationship with some guy. And she had the audacity <laughs> to literally say, that's too much. He expect me to cook, to clean the house, to do all of this, and I got my own stuff. I got my work. It's one of I ain't his maid. I ain't his this. I ain't his that. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. And to take care of his kids and to do all of this. That's why you're still single. Or come on with that other argument. I ain't gonna submit to no man. What you mean? All they heard was submit. Excuse me, self-centered person. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Check yourself. Check yourself. Because you need to be sitting down and praying and covering your spouse, their head, their heart, their body. Tiffany Montgomery uh, always does a prayer of the full armor of God, removing the pride off of the man and replacing it with the full armor of God. Dismantling the prideful armor that he has on him and replacing it with the armor of God.
some of y'all just don't have that in you. You too busy wondering why is it taking so long because you still don't have the characteristics to understand what it is to be that wife. It's not for him to take care of you only. This man is going through some things and you too busy to be too concerned with what you're not getting. While this man needs you to cover him in the place that he needs most. If you can't get that, he ain't never coming. Because <laughs> you get him. And the devil turn around and kill him. <laughs> and you be like, well, God, why did you have him? Because you were supposed to be covering him. You were supposed to be praying. You were supposed to be. But you were too busy over there. <laughs> and you want me to drop him in your life. And you over here having a whine and cry baby fit. Over this person. And why they're not here. But you're not dealing with you. I always remember when. I heard an interview with Boris Kojo. All y'all women sit there. He didn't say that part. I'm saying all y'all women sit there and write you a list of characteristics characteristics of a man. And 95% of the list are superficial. You ain't talking about the deep stuff. In them lists. Because that, that take too much. That take too long. You got a whole bunch of external characteristics. Ain't got nothing dealing with the internal spiritual heart posture. Caring, loyalty, trust. <laughs> Is his pockets deep enough? <laughs> Can he help you? Can he... Is he going to be there for you when you're going through something? Because some of y'all, you're going to have kids. You realize that the process to have a baby is very difficult for some women. But you just want the husband, right? So what Boris Kojo was saying was, Y'all got all these lists for the qualities you want in a man. But what are you doing to become the woman that they need? Let me repeat the same statement from the beginning. Husband going through some things. I can't help you right now. I am going through it. So when you come in and get me, though, you need to get mature, you need to grow up, you need to deal with yourself, because until you understand the truth of the true weight of the weight, You're never going to be ready to marry somebody because it's a give and take. Hold on, let me get a scripture for you. All right? Okay, I found it. Uh, Ephesians 5. I'm going to start at 5 and 20. Always for everything give thanks in the name of the Lord God thy Father. Be subject to one another, reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. Every woman has a tendency to get on the husbands love their wives, but you are supposed to be subject, meaning this ain't just about getting him. 
it's about you being subject. But I am supposed to submit. Subject means that you are to be an assistant, a helper, subject. You allow your husband to be ruler of your household, leader in his castle. Don't. I got another scripture for you in a minute. Hold on one second. I'm going to finish this one because the Lord just dropped another one into my spirit. Um, for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of of the church his body is himself its savior and as the church is subject to Christ so let wives also be subject to everything their husband to their husbands husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and give himself for her and that be might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of the waters of the word, that he might present the church himself in splendor without a spot or blemish or wrinkle in any such thing, that she might be body, no, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. That's where I screwed up. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it as Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body. For this man, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and two shall become one flesh. And I got another one for you. Hold on. This is going to be the last point. Final verse. Uh, Proverbs 21 9 is better to live on a corner of a roof than to share a house with a quarrelsome wife. That's Proverbs 21 19. That's the end of this broadcast. Bye bye. <laughs>